So let's say I'm a Muslim American. Okay. And I don't like the way the government has trampled on the civil liberties of members of my community. Uh -huh. Should I then take a rifle and go occupy the Department of Homeland Security? Okay. Um, all we're doing is, is protecting the, the livelihood of the people here. So we're walking onto ground zero of the occupation of armed men here at the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. They've taken over these federal buildings. I'm told they're actually in there. So this is the control room yeah. of this militia standoff? Well, it's not a militia standoff. That's Standoff? Uh, well, it's not even really a standoff. A lot of people around the country are watching this and they're looking at you guys and like, these white guys that came in with their weapons are Well, that's kind of racist, white guys. Well, they're, they're pointing out. <laughs> you're going you're to point out if it was all black guys, would we say those black guys all yeah, came in? Yeah, they would no, they say that and they would say no, the federal would. response would be different. They <laughs> no, would they wouldn't. That. They would not say that. that. They would not say that. The they would not say that because now they're profiling. A lot of people around the country are looking at what's happening here and looking at the fact that there's really no law enforcement around here and the feds haven't come in. And they say that if this was a group of African Americans protesting and if it was a group of Muslim Americans for example the response has been and would be a lot more different and it would be a lot more forceful. Well, my, my heart goes out to anyone who it has violence perpetrated upon them okay and and we we welcome any support from from any you know from from any community. Freedom has no no color it, it, it's colorblind it belongs to all race color and creed. Uh, for, for myself you know I, I worked hard with my own money to buy my ranch, okay? A lifetime dream to have my own. And it take a lot to get there. And so that's all we're doing is, is our own personal property, our own personal livelihood, our own personal lives. I understand, that's but what's say, what say that's and so if my there, personal. So if there's, so if there's, a, so if there's a, a Muslim in the same situation or a, a, a a, a Native American and the same thing, most certainly they, they should should kindly and, and, and as gently as possible protect their own life, liberty and property. Near the entrance, I spotted a familiar face, John Ritzheimer, the ex-Marine who organized an armed protest in front of a Phoenix mosque last year and who created a website selling anti-Islamic gear. And so I had to ask. A lot of people are saying, imagine if Muslim Americans took up arms and protested the federal government, what would the response have been? There is a double standard there. No comment. Do you think they would have gotten I, away I with think, it as, as you I guys think, are? Well, this Can is, I see, this and I ask you that because I see a gun right, this <laughs> right is there. Not, this is not about religion. This is not about, this is, this here is not about a religion. Um, what so is it about? So you're saying Muslim Americans, well, what do we have here? All I see down in there is Americans. Yeah, you're, you're this is, you guys but people again, are saying they're white Americans, and with that, they have white privilege that they can get away with certain things that people of well, color might not. Uh, we've had we have people of color color that have shown up here. And, really? Yeah. John, we're talking about who owns the land, and yesterday, uh, Native American Paiute tribe who claimed this as their ancestral yeah, land. That, I, I, honestly, they're saying I'm, you guys need to leave, and that this is their ancestral land that they were run off from and killed. What do you have to say about that? Do you acknowledge that? I'm open to uh, dialogue about it and learn about it, but I. I, I I'm not educated enough on that to, uh, I don't, I, I haven't heard them, they, I haven't seen them, I, so. History. Invite them into the conversation, bring it in, the plot thickens. Mm -hmm.